this story doesn't actually start here. Right now, we're at a gas station. The reason we're here is because where I was walking wasn't exactly the safest place. What's up guys? We're doing a little bit of story time today. Uh, so the other day I was out visiting one of my clients and I thought afterwards I'd go out and shoot a vlog. I took some pretty good scope of the area. I looked at my Google Maps. It seemed like it might be cool. The idea was to share five tips that would help a working filmmaker who had a full-time job stay viable with YouTube and manage your schedule a little bit better. What ended up happening was while I was out there shooting some footage and walking around telling my tips, I wasn't alone out there. Check this out. <laughs> Just had a homeless man come charging at me with a stick threatening to beat me because he thought I was filming him. So uh, we're going to split out of here. You see this guy in the background right here? He was watching me the entire time. So I had heard some noises and so I was really alert looking around. Special thanks to California's poppy fields by the way. So luckily I was alert and looking around and I had seen somebody, you know, kind of trailing me when I was flying my drone. Um, but there was this man, he, I guess he lived in that cave-like thing there, watching me the entire time. So as I pulled out my camera and I started to walk around and shoot my vlog and do some b-roll, apparently he thought that I was filming him. So he grabs a metal rod and makes a beeline for me. I see him coming my way, so I immediately veer off. You can see here I went from here all the way back up onto the bike path. Hopefully there'd be more people around in case anything were to happen. So he ends up cutting me off and starts yelling at me saying, you don't have my permission to film me. You don't have my permission to film me. And I was like, sir, why would I be filming you? Why would I need footage of you? Go ahead and rationalize that to me. You know, I'm, I'm a rational guy. I don't like conflict too much. I like to make people think, you know, it would be stupid for me to go out there and film you. Why would I be doing that? So he keeps yelling at me, clearly not a rational person, and he pulls out his metal pipe. So at this point, he's, he's wailing a pipe at me, and I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, I've got, you know, ten to $13,000 worth of equipment in my backpack, one slug to the head, I go down, all of that's gone, and I might be gone too. Um, so I slowly start walking away and I'm thinking I gotta hit record. I gotta hit record I gotta catch this and I was like it wouldn't be safe But for the vlog do it for the vlog long story short I chose my life over the vlog just so you know I will choose my life over the vlog think what you want about that But I walked away the moral of the story being that you have to be safe out there uh, We often think we're invincible when we're behind the camera and we don't think about what's in front of it We don't think about the reality of the situation the reality of that situation was that man was probably hiding out there and I made him super paranoid because I brought a lot of cameras, I'm flying a drone around, he doesn't know who I work for or why I'm there, and he felt intimidated and reacted out of fear. So it's, it's not always discontent, it's not always someone trying to harm you, sometimes it's a protective instinct, nonetheless you have to make sure you watch your back, stay alert and stay safe out there especially when you're vlogging because you do have a lot of expensive equipment out there and you are a target. So moral of the story today is stay safe out there, stay alert, and uh, protect yourselves. All right, guys, have a good day.